Have you ever wondered how a massive steel submarine can sink deep into the ocean and then calmly rise back up? It sounds impossible, right? Steel is heavy, the ocean is crushing, so why doesn't a submarine just fall straight to the bottom? And here's the real mystery. Once it's deep down, surrounded by immense pressure, how does it decide to come back up? Inside the submarine, there are special tanks called ballast tanks. When the crew wants to sink, these tanks slowly fill with seawater. The submarine becomes heavier than the water around it, and gravity gently pulls it downward into the dark depths. But floating back up is where science feels like magic. The water inside those tanks doesn't just disappear, so how does the submarine push itself upward again? Here's the answer. Compressed air. The submarine forces high-pressure air into the ballast tanks, pushing the water out. As the water leaves, the submarine becomes lighter than the surrounding ocean, and buoyancy lifts it back toward the surface, no engines needed. That's how a giant steel machine sinks on command and rises back from the deep. If you want to understand science like this, don't forget to like and subscribe.